Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here, and welcome to another player review in FIFA 13. And today we're looking at the second in form Benitez, who is a striker and he's got 88 pace, 81 shooting, 67 passing, 81 dribbling, 49 defending, 81 heading. His um, good stats are his 91 shot power and 89 long shots, which work quite well together. His 90 finishing, which works with that shot power as well. His 85 penalties, his 92 jump, which is quite nice um, for a player. He's only five foot six. He's got 87 strength, but I'll talk about that in a minute. He's got 93 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Um, his dribbling is 82, but I think it's a bit better than that. And his reactions are 89, so he can really react to um, through balls. And also his ball c controls 82 as well, so he can keep the ball quite well. And he's got four star skill moves, four star weak foot, which is quite a nice combination for a striker. And his price from a PS3 is quite low, saying he's a second in form at 19,907 coins. On the Xbox, it's 21,597. On the PC, it's 31,903. So let's get on to the gameplay now. Now, the reason I think his price is considerably low is probably because he plays in um, a not very well known league and it's hard to build a team around him. I mean the team I used him with wasn't the strongest. There were some alright players in there but um, I had to really look at look and like um, for decent players to use because there weren't many I could really put in that. Um, as the squad was mainly just a gold and silver hybrid as there weren't any really good um, gold players from his league. Um, now saying that though, um, he is quite good. Um, he's got good finishing which is really nice for a striker because obviously he's going to be inside the box um, and also because he's got really good pace and his reactions are quite nice and he has got a high attacking work rate he has got he makes some really good runs and as you'll see from some of these clips um, he might not make the runs on the ball but he'll make the runs off the ball so that means he can get into those positions where he can just slide it away into an open net um, now another thing for, is when he's on the ball he's a really good dribbler and by that I mean he keeps the ball close to him. Um, he's got 87 strength, which works with his dribbling well, and he's he's quite fast on the ball, so he's more of a speed dribbler, um, which um, is quite nice because he's got four star skill moves to go with that as well. So he can really do some work and get get, get around um, players and set up some people um, and get some assists for himself as well. But he hasn't got the best passing, so um, sometimes that might not work and it might be a bit disappointing for you guys. Um, but another thing, saying he's got 87 strength and 92 jumping, his height isn't really the best, um, um, which is 5 foot 6. Now he has got 92 jumping, but his heading accuracy with that height, he's going to have to jump really high um, to even get up to um, some like 6 foot defenders and things like that, um, who, who may even have better jumping than him. And with that, his heading accuracy can be brought down, he might not even get onto the ball in the air. Um, but he has got because of his um, 91 shot power really good free kicks and I must say his free kicks are really good for power um, if you want to go and curl it in then he's probably not the best player for him um, for that role but um, he has got really some nice um, power free kicks and as you saw earlier his 85 penalties is quite nice um, now for his free kicks and his penalties he might not be the number one guy in team for it but he is definitely someone who can um, help you and if you haven't got anyone decent free kicks he'll he'll probably be quite a good option for you as he is quite good um, in those situations and um, so taking all that into account he is quite a good player I must say and I've really enjoyed using him and um, he's I've given him quite a high rating because of it and also he's quite cheap so if you want to build a team around him then I would really recommend it so overall I've given second in form Benitez an 8.6 out of 10 which ranks him quite high um, I mean I he is quite a good player, but one of the downsides is to him that you're going to um, have to build quite a unique squad to be able to fit him in and be able to put other good players in there. But that's not really a negative because we're really reviewing the player, not like um, his team around him. So the good points about him are he's good finishing, he makes some really good runs, um, he's a speed dribbler, which is nice for a striker as you can get around defenders. Um, his power free kick, that means he can... Um, 
put some put the ball into the area or take a shot for himself from his free kicks and his penalties are really good which you want from a striker um, as that's sort of his like area shooting so he overall is a really really good shooter and he, um, he's got a really good shot and he can put the ball away from outside the box and inside the box now the bad points are that because he's a skilled dribbler you want him to get into those positions where he can either shoot or pass but he can only really, really shoot because his passing is quite poor. Now, saying as a striker, you would expect that, but you might have wanted him to have a bit better, better passing stats. Um, and the other thing is his height. It does kind of bring him down a bit. As with that 92 jumping, if he was a bit taller, he'd probably be a bit better. Um, he'd probably have a bit better heading. So, overall, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please leave a like and subscribe for more FIFA 13 reviews or Battlefield 3 videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Um, and if you want to um, leave a player that you want me to review, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.